Welcome to the Student Guide to Google Classroom. If you've never been to Google Classroom before, you can type in the URL, and that's classroom.google.com. If you're using a tablet, you can download the app or on a phone and then access Google Classroom that way as well. Once you're in Google Classroom, there are a couple of ways you can join a class. One way is to click on this plus icon and put in a class code. This should have been given to you by your teacher. If you don't have that, you could ask your teacher. Alternatively, they may have invited you to the classroom already. And if you've been invited, you should see a screen like this for the LAC classroom. And here you can click join. Once in the classroom, there are a couple of areas you should check out. The first is the stream. So a lot of things appear in the stream and I can scroll down. So here, for example, I can see a welcome announcement by my teacher and asking me how I'm feeling. I'm feeling great today. So here's an opportunity to leave a comment. Now this is a class comment. So that means other students in the class will also be able to see it. So if I post it here, You'll see it's appeared here as a class comment. So do check out the stream when you first come in. The other place to check is classwork. So you see the tab at the top of the screen, classwork. And this is where your work should be. So your assignments and any questions that are being asked of you. We'll come back to that in a moment. Going back into the stream, the other thing you can check out is on this left hand panel. This has the due dates of any assignments or questions posted to you. So you can see here, I've got some assignments that are due tomorrow and one Friday. So these are three places you should be checking out when you join the Google Classroom. The stream, looking down, scrolling down. You should check this panel here to see if there's any work that is due. And also then check the Classword tab. So the Classwork tab, is where you can receive assignments and questions. So for example, a question here I've got under literature. If I click on this and I've got the question, I've been asked, which of the following books was written by J.R. Tol Tolkien? And I can click the answer that I think it is. So teachers might use this to just test some of your understanding. So I think it's The Hobbit. Once I've done this, I can click hand in and the teacher will receive my answer. With any question or assignment, you can also add class comments here. I like The Hobbit, for example. If I can click that. But if I've got a comment that I only want the teacher to read, I can click here under private comments. So I could put, I don't understand the question. And this is something the teacher will receive and then be able to respond to me privately. I go back into my classroom, back into my classwork tab. I can then see that that's now been complete, that question. I will see on the left hand side of my class topics. So if your teacher has chosen to set out the classroom like that, then you'll be able to see the different topics and click on them accordingly. So different teachers will use this differently. So this might vary depending on how your teacher might use it. Back in the classwork tab, I'm going to show you some different assignments and how you might need to manage these. So we're going to look at this one under art. So if I click on here, I can see some instructions, but it's good to click on the view assignment button just to see all the instructions you need. So first thing is make sure you read the question and the instructions attached. So this is a slide deck where I'm being asked to copy the template slide and then make my own. So if I click on here, it will open up a slide deck. So if I read the question, I'm being asked to find a piece of postmodern art that I can paste into my slide and then write about the art, where it came from, etc. So I can go in here, for example, I'm going to insert an image, I'm going to find something on the web and then do the work that is necessary. Once I'm done, I can close this down and then mark as done. And that will hand it into my teacher. If I want to go back into it, I can unsubmit 
and then work on it again. But then I need to make sure I hand it back in once finished. We go back into my classwork and we'll look at the history assignment. So what were the causes of the First World War? So this is an example of something where there's no attachment, so I need to create my own document. So if I click on the plus icon here, I can create a new doc. So I can type my ideas here. And once I'm done, I can turn that in. So it's just confirming that, hand it in, and that will go to my teacher. I'm going to go back into my classroom, back into classwork, and look at the third option. So take a photo of a plant and hand it in. So I've gone into my assignment. Imagine I've gone away, taken my photo, and I can click on the add, and I need to add a file, perhaps from my local computer or my Google Drive. So I'm going to upload this, find my photo, here's my plant, and I'm going to add that in, upload, and so I'm attaching a file. So this could be if you've taken a photo of something in your home or of your work, and you can hand it in this way. Once completed again, click hand in, and my teacher will receive that work. So I go back into my classroom, and as you can see on my left-hand side now, I've got no work due because I've completed it all. Depending on how your class is set up, you can also use the features here to post to your class. So for example, I could communicate with my classmates. and ask them a question. Now this feature may be turned off by your teacher, so it will depend on the class. If this feature is turned off, then do remember to look for a post on your homework or your assignments or from the teacher and you can post in the class comments asking your peers, your classmates for help as well. If you really do get stuck as well, click on the people tab and this will show you who's in your class. And this is where you can then go and email your teacher. So this will open it up in Gmail and you'll be able to email your teacher for help also. I hope this is helpful. If you get stuck on anything or if you've got any questions, do post them in the comments section below.